Hey everybody, it's Friday. Happy Friday. It is October 14th, 2022. We are about two weeks out from Halloween. And today I have three more Halloween projects for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that'll be it for Facebook Friday Halloween. I was thinking about that yesterday. I'm sad that I'm, I'm done with Halloween projects. I love Halloween projects. Oh, well, we're, we'll move on. I, there's some amazing things. I've got a lot of stuff to show you. Um, but before we even get started really on Christmas stuff, which is crazy. All right, I see you guys jumping on. Let me share this over to my um, page. Um, okay, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Um, okay, so maybe I won't share. Oh, here we go. Let's see. <clears throat> Why do they have to change all of it? Okay, forget it. I don't know. Share to a group. More options. All right. It's not going to give me any options. Have you guys had a good Friday so far? Hopefully. This week, <coughs> I have a little bit of bad news. We're going to do Bewitching, right? The stamp set. Bewitching is a bundle part of a bundle. The other part is this, the Witch Hat Builder Punch. So it's been on and off our inventory list, right? I keep checking it. It was unorderable with a date to be determined. And then suddenly it was back on the low inventory list. I've been watching it. I was like, okay, we were supposed to do this two weeks ago. And I was like, okay, you know, it's, it's available. It's on low inventory. We'll go for it. So this morning, I was typing up my blog post and I was trying to link to the bundle, I could not find the punch in the online store. So I'm looking, I'm looking, even when I type in the number, it won't come up. So I call Stampin' Up! And we have some bad news. It's sold out. It's not coming back. Hopefully you guys have it already. If not, I hate using things that are not available. But I mean, I had already invested in this and uh, <laughs> time-wise, and hold on, my dog is waiting for his, his cookie. Hold on, here you go, Mac. He's gonna stare at me for the next hour if I don't give it to him. Um, so, you know, we're doing it. We're going for it. You can still use this stamp set without the punch. Um, you can just fussy cut. Um, but unfortunately, as of, I don't know when, today, it's sold out. Wah, wah. That's why I just, ah, I was like, should we use it? Should we not? Because it was low inventory. I didn't know, but you guys have been asking for it. So, all right, we're going to go for it. All right, I want to show you a few cards first. This is from my downline Gloria, a beautiful pink um, birthday card. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen that stamp done in other colors than what, you know, like the paper that it goes with. Very pretty, Gloria. Thank you so much. This one... Um, this is from Cindy and Cindy also sent me some little adorable earrings. My ears are finally letting me wear non, um, sterling earrings. Hopefully they don't get irritated again. Cindy, thank you. They're very pretty. Um, but she sent me a Halloween card. And one of the things I was going to tell you guys, um, is that we're going to make a Halloween card today and it, it can be used as anything. A thank you card, hello card, birthday card, whatever. So don't think that you can't use Halloween cards. But anyway, Cindy, gorgeous. She used that um, mesh on the back. Love it. Very nice. All right. Hello, everybody. So when I look at my phone, I see no comments. But when I look down here, I can see that you guys are saying things. Um, saying some things. Hello, hello, mostly. Okay, moving on. This one is so cute. This one is so fun. This is from Terry... K Terry, I hope I say your name right. It's spelled differently, but I kind of feel like that's how you say it. Terry, look how cute. She put pumpkins in that um that bucket, that wooden wooden crate thing. What is that called? Basket? <laughs> you guys know. But she filled it with pumpkins. Very cute. And there's some green and white gingham in the back. Love it. She, you guys know all of my favorite things. This one is adorable. Kathy, this is a very beautiful card. She sent me as a thank you card. The snowman. Um, this bundle's been on uh, back order too. Hopefully it does not sell out before I get to use it because I love it. Thank you so much, Kathy. All right, this one is fun. It comes like this, but then boop, it pops up. And look, 
Isn't that cute? We need to make one of these. We need to make one of these. This is from Kathy. So cute, Kathy. I love it. All the colors. It's like a rainbow. So cute. I'm going to set that out so I remember I want to case that. This one, another uh, pink card from another Cindy. Isn't that cute? Look at that little cake. Looks delicious. And it's pink, you guys. I love pink. This was really cool. This is from Julie, I believe. Yeah, Julie. She used this paper. Remember this paper? It was, I believe it was Halloween paper. But she used it for non-Halloween. I And I love it. It's like fall colors. It's those rich jewel tones. Very pretty. That was about, what, maybe three years ago paper? Julie, very nice. Macon sent me a really fun gift. I'm going to show you first. Here's her card, right? And then look at this. Okay, ho hopefully I can open it. All right, looks like this. And then you open it. And then it opens this way. And there's a little sentiment. And then it opens this way. And you've got a little tag. And you've got another little tag. And some tags and some tags. It's just like full of surprises. That is gorgeous. I am going to hold on to this one to case this one too. It's like a puzzle or something to find all the things. Thank you so much. I love it. From Macon. Macon sends me sweet stuff a lot. You guys are so good. Thank you all. You're very kind. All right. Let's run through a few things. Um, I think I'm going to turn you guys around so I can show you. Um, we have a new suite of products coming out. Let's see if I can get this turned around. Called um, Fitting Florets. All right, and you're gonna love the paper especially. So right now, demonstrators can order this. And if you buy a starter kit right now, you can also put order this in your starter kit. Um, so there are two stamp sets, framed florets, and this, this bundle is gonna be in the spring catalog. So it's a sneak peek, okay? And then framed and festive, I believe is only through um, the end of December because it's Christmas. So you can use them in conjunction and these awesome dies, oval, really kind of cool framed dies. Um, so that is the, the stamps and dies and then the paper. Look, you guys know I'm going to be obsessed. Very pretty. So you can use that for Christmas, but then also there's a lot of pinks and blues in here for non Christmas, um, cards. And I believe the paper is Limited time only. Look at that. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Um, so just a heads up, we'll be using this for Facebook Friday. Um, oh, and the little metal, what are they called? Swirls? Gold adhesive back swirls. So we'll be using this the first Facebook Friday in November when you guys can order it. And I have already made a couple of projects. This is a case from um, Stampin' Up. Um, but I have some other things to show you with it. So be on the lookout for that. If you're a demonstrator... Right now, let's see, I don't have room to put this side down. If you're a demonstrator, you can order that right now. That's part of the perk of being a demonstrator, to getting early access. Um, and if you're buying a starter kit, you can get it this month. If not, then you'll be able to get it in November, okay? Um, I have several of these left. If anybody needs fast and easy paper um, Halloween treats, please let me know. I'll get it in the mail same day, and you'll have it within a few days to make for your Halloween treats, okay? All right, that is that. I'm just gonna throw it on the floor. Um, Club Create for November features sweet candy canes. Um, Club Create subscription. Um, if you're interested in joining Club Create, it's a subscri subscription program. It's $39 a month. You get um, about $20 in product and five projects, as well as a PDF and a video every month. Um, if you're interested in joining Club Create, you can read all the details. I don't know why this is here. <laughs> I just saw on the iPad that I'm playing with this. This is from me ripping off the um, price tag and not getting the plastic. Do you guys do that? I'm so, I, I saw a lamp in my house the other day that still had this on it. I'm so bad about that. Um, anyway, um, if you are interested in Club Create, click the Club Create tab at the top of my blog, pinkbuckroo.com. And um, then email me. I'm not leaving it open. I'm As people leave, I'm adding people, okay? So if you want to join, you'll have to email me, okay? Um, so that's that. Club Create member, Sweet Candy Cane, November. Uh, my class to go this month is The Kindest Gnomes. Um, deadline to sign up for this is next 
Friday. Um, I'm actually going to try to get all the kits cut and prepped next week. Um, they'll probably ship sooner than um, previously stated because I got to start working on retreat to go stuff. Um, but this is a six card class. There's six cards. Um, you get ribbon, paper, embellishments, and the PDF. So if you're interested in this, please email me for that registration link. Also, if you're on my mailing list, my email list, that link is in the last, I don't know, like three emails that I've sent you. So it's all, you can scroll down to the bottom and find it. Okay, so retreat to go, holiday retreat to go. This year I teamed up with my friend, Deborah. She is a local friend slash downline. I taught her son, he, who is now a grown adult. We've known each other for a long time. We teamed up this year to design and bring you the holiday retreat to go. There's no local event, it's only to go. Um, it features the Santa's Delivery bundle, and it's actually gonna have 15 projects in it. That is a ton. Deborah is an over-the-top stamp. She's just Energizer Bunny, and she was like coming up with all these amazing things, and we couldn't cut anything out, so we're keeping them all. 15 projects. You're gonna get about $50 in product in your kit. Um, you're gonna get several pillow gift surprises. Um, and what else? Shipping is included in the price. It's $120. They will ship the week of Thanksgiving. And um, something else I was gonna tell you. Oh, this usually sells out pretty quick, um, but it is not sold out. So I added on about 30 more spots this year. So if you would like to register for my holiday retreat to go, please um, email me or look in your email because I emailed it out on Tuesday. There will be two add-on class options. This one, Deborah and I did together. She designed some, I designed some, and we put them all together. And then we both designed add-on classes. And my add-on class is the um, Spruced Up Bundle, this really fun one. And it's bright and fun non-traditional Christmas colors. It's a 10 card class. So you'll be able to add that on. I will be offering this as a standalone class later on, hopefully in um, November. For those of you that don't wanna do the retreat but wanna do the class. Her class, I haven't put it together yet. I wanna have samples for you guys. It's the Christmas Scotty and it's adorable. So those are the two add-on options for the holiday retreat to go. All right. So that is that, um, Rustic Harvest. I mail, emailed these out yesterday. Anybody who um, orders $50 or more with me in October will receive this PDF for free. There are 12 tutorials in here, all by, isn't that lovely? All by different Stampin' Up! demonstrators. Okay, I can hear what sounds like the UPS truck. I'm having to look out the window. No, I put my blinds down, I can't see. Um, I can hear something going on. Um, anyway, it's, they're all videos. It's free. Anybody who spends $50. Um, it's also available, available in my PDF store. If you don't want to shop with me and get it for free, you can always buy it for $15. And then my downline, they get it for free. My project this month is a slider box. Hi, Nicole. All right. Looks like that. All right. That is that. All right, we've made it to the bottom of the pile. Let me move some things out of the way and tell you who our door prize winner is from last week. Um, I pick a winner every week um, from those who have shared the video either on Facebook or on um, YouTube. And this week it's Autumn Johnson. Um, she's getting the Splendid Thoughts bundled. Autumn, please message me or email me your mailing address. I'm not sure if I have it or not, but I would love to get this in the mail for you. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, this week I've got two prizes, two of the North Pole Mischief stamp sets. Aren't they cute? Um, this reminds me of Pepper, my dog. Um, if you would like to win one of these, all you have to do is share. And then in the comments, let me know that you shared. And that is that. Okay, so this week, this is the last Halloween thing I'm going to do, and then we're going to move on. Um, I have three bewitching projects. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday, I pick um, a product. This week it's this bundle, and I make three projects with it. Um, and then if you want the make and takes, 
if you want these three project kits, I'll send them to you for free with a, a online order of $35 or more using this host code. The host code is weird this time. You, you, you. <laughs> I thought that was really weird. You, 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 PF, nine, DR. You have to use that host code. Otherwise, I don't know. If you don't use a host code, I assume you don't want the make and takes. Um, which is fine because some people don't do Halloween and that's totally fine. Um, but the host code is here. It's on my blog. Um, it's on today's PDF. If you go to pinkbuckaroo.com, the PDF should be there. Have you guys checked my blog post? Is it up and running? Um, it should have gone up with the PDF. Everything that I talked about today is here with links for information. Also the starter kit. I have to share the starter kit promotion. I don't, I need to like print something out. So I remember to tell you guys. Starter kit is $99 as always, but in October you get $155 in product. Anything you want from either catalog. Um, and then free shipping. And then you get a 20% discount. So you're like a discount shopper or you can have classes and stuff. Either one, either way, um, both are okay. Um, you also join my team, the Sweet Stampede. If you'd like to see the team event, we did this last weekend. Please go back a couple of posts and you'll see. Um, we meet monthly, both online and in person. And my team gets free PDFs. And um, um, I'm reading your question, Jean. Hold on. Um, sorry, I, my brain just can't do two things at once. Um, my team gets free PDFs and discounted class kits, among lots of other among lots of other things, okay? Um, okay, Jean says, if I order enough to be eligible for an item at 50% off, can it be the sweet collection? Um, Jean, I don't think so. Usually sweets cannot be 50% off. Um, I am not 100% sure on that specific question about this new one. Um, and I can look when we're done to make sure, but typically our sweets cannot be purchased at 50% off. I don't know. I, I, I would say no. But again, I've been wrong before. I can look it up and let you know. Okay. Um, so make and takes will come to you looking like this. If you want them for uh, free, um, you'll have everything you need except for the stamped images. You'll end the punch. You'll need the stamps and the punch. And if you weren't here in the beginning, here's the bad news, you guys. I just found out in like the last two hours that the punch is sold out. I hate that I'm using it and you guys can't order it. I hate it. I don't like to do that. Um, I've been waiting to use this. It was unorderable and then it went on back order and it's been on, I mean, it's been on low inventory, which tells us as demonstrators that it's available. They just ha don't have a lot of them. And so I just assumed that it was available. But these projects you can do by fussy cutting the, the hats with scissors. The stamp set is still available. Okay, so that is that. Let's get started. Um, hope, hopefully you guys won't be too hard on me. Um, <laughs> hopefully those of you that wanted the um, Builder Punch got it. Hopefully, hopefully. Let's see, what did I say? Jennifer says, it all depends. I ordered the Valentine Suite last year at half off, but generally no. Jennifer, interesting you got the Halloween Suite at half off. I bet that was a glitch because you're not supposed, that's not supposed to happen. Um, you could get the bundle half off. I know that for sure. Um, you can get bundles half off, but you typically the rule is sweets are not half off. All right, this card, we're going to make a really fun, um, you know what? I need to be more organized with getting all this stuff out because then I'm not going to know where it is. We're going to make a fun Halloween card. And like I said at the beginning, a Halloween card, I was looking for this die just a little while ago forgot that it was on that tray. Um, just because it says Happy Halloween doesn't mean that it's, I mean, specifically, you know, you could send it as a thank you card, right? You could send it as a birthday card, whatever. You could change the sentiment if you wanted. Um, speaking of sentiments, I am using this month's paper pumpkin stamp set on two of our projects. This stamp set doesn't have any words and we need some words. So I am using two of them from Paper Pumpkin. I uh, love the stamp sets. I always save my Paper Pumpkin stamp sets. They come in handy. Okay. Um, 
Bronco colors today, <laughs> Terry, Emma. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yep. All right, we're gonna make the background first. And in case you're wondering where the heck that background came from, it is actually one of our star treat bags. And I'm going to cut it apart. And we're just gonna use the front of it. Now, if that makes you cringe and you don't wanna do that, you could use this as the treat bag and decorate it and put Halloween treats in it. Okay, you could do the same thing that we're gonna do, just leave it as a bag. All right? All right, now I've cut the front off and in order to get it nice and straight, I'm gonna get out my trimmer and let's see, we'll start, whoops. Why does that keep doing that? My blade keeps falling out. Okay, what are you doing? Go back where you're supposed to. This is like, you know, your kids when you take them somewhere and they start misbehaving. Okay, I'm gonna cut the edges so that they're all straight because we know my cutting is not straight. And I want it to be nice and straight. Yeah, this, um, you could also create this background by using star dies, but if you use the treat bag, it's way easier. <laughs> and then you don't have to worry about, why, does, why is that doing that? You don't have to worry about die cutting a bunch of stars. I'm making this look way more difficult than it actually is. All right, now you're gonna need some grid paper because we're gonna get kind of messy, okay? I am using Pumpkin Pie and Orchid Oasis. I have been using Orchid Oasis a ton lately, a ton. I love it. You're gonna need a blending brush. And I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna blend my color down. Each time I'm gonna start at the top so that the top is darker than the bottom, okay? Um, do I have any Arkansas people watching today? My oldest is on her way to a rock climbing, camping, something in Bentonville, Arkansas today. I'm wondering how the weather's going to be. I haven't looked. We're supposed to get cold here on Monday, so I'm wondering if she's going to miss that cold weather up there. Hopefully it won't be too cold. She's my adventure, my adventurous one. You could use this as a stencil. Yep, look at that. That would make a great stencil, wouldn't it, Jean? All right, now I'm gonna just lightly go over the bottom. I, oh God, my arm, <laughs> he's tired. Um, I um, re-inked my ink pad before I did this, and so it was really juicy. The first time I did this, it wasn't this dark. Oh, man. That takes a muscle. Um, but you can see, a little bit darker up here at the top. Okay, so there we go. Now, I'm gonna take a dark, starry sky and flick some ink. Okay, and then we're gonna take white Craft, yeah, she survived the Boundary Waters, Jennifer. Yeah, so Bentonville, Arkansas shouldn't be, shouldn't be a, shouldn't be a, an issue. She's, she's, they're car camping, which I didn't even realize was a thing. Um, <laughs> but I don't know, car camping. When you're young, when you are young, these things don't bother you. Yeah, it won't be nearly as cold as the Boundary Waters, that's for sure. All right, let me get all the orange out of my aqua painter. I mean, my water painter. I'm adding some water to that little dot of, of um, craft reinker, And I'm just gonna, oh, I just flicked it on my iPad and everything. So <laughs> cover your surface. All right, now, oh, look, I just did a big water drop too. We'll cover it up, it's all right. Actually, you know, you can do that to add more texture to yours. Um, one thing I wanna show you is that this is messy 
And my original card, if you see here, it looks like maybe like shooting stars or something. That's because I accidentally took my card base and scraped it across there before it was dry. So I actually kind of liked it. So no matter what you do, it's always going to look a little bit different. All right, so there it is. We've got a big like Milky Way in the middle, but that's going to be covered, so that's okay. All right, so there it is. Let's set it up way up high. Hopefully, I will not make a mess of it. And we'll move all of this stuff here, and we'll start making our little tag. All right, you know, I took that tray. Where did I put it? Hello, it's right here. Okay. Now, we're going to use the little feet, the witch feet. And I'm going to use my Stamparatus because... I feel like when I stamp something black, sometimes there's like a little piece that didn't stamp all the way solid. You know what I'm saying? So if you use your Stamparatus, you can stamp, stamp, stamp until it's completely solid. And I would like to use stays on black because it's darker than Memento Black, but um, I'm gonna use Stampin' Blends to color, it, color part of it in. So we're gonna use Memento and just stamp it several times. Now I've got this here. I put a, I, it's there for me already. I can see it. So I'm gonna hopefully get that centered. Otherwise, put your paper down, then lay your stamp down. Let's see, that looks about right. And then it'll be perfect. Um, Rhonda says, Bentonville is very close to me and it's 60, oh, 66 degrees. Sounds like heaven. 55 degrees tonight, so that's not very cold. Um, Michelle, I missed what you used the white for the white. We just splattered it and it was a water painter. We splattered it to make like stars. All right, Memento Black. All right, so see that every time I do this, image that foot always doesn't I don't know maybe I'm I'm inking uneven but wow look at that perfect all right so we've got that and then we'll take our stamp and blends which of course I already put all the way over here and we're gonna take orchid oasis and we'll color in the little stripes of her little, her little tights. I'm using the Dark Orchid Oasis and I'm thinking light might be better because it's almost too dark. You guys see? Wrinkles in the feet, Denise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's her wrinkly, craggy feet, this old witch. All right, and then just Daffodil Delight for the buckles. Okay. All right, now we'll stamp the um, hat, which is right here. And I don't have it on the Stamparatus. Let's see how it does. Pumpkin pie is pretty juicy. And this stamps pretty well. Now I'm gonna put it down here in the corner so that it'll fit in my punch. All right, that works. Um, when you punch something, you stamp, when you stamp something, you're gonna punch. Um, take your punch and put it in like this to see kind of like where you need to put your stamp. And because if you stamped it in the middle and it didn't fit, then you're gonna have to cut your paper. Not that it's that big of a deal, but if you kind of plan ahead, placement wise, it'll just make it easier to punch it out. All right, so there's that. I keep forgetting what we're making. Let me put my sample up here so I can look at it. And then we're gonna put the hat right there. Comments keep disappearing. Do you have the magnetic plate from Stampin' Storage? It really helps really in the corner too. Um, for my Stamparatus, Jennifer, I have, um, I do have that, but I haven't really noticed that it makes a difference. Um, the foam underneath, uh, it's for photopolymer, but I find that if I leave it for my red rubber, it helps too. I don't know. It's usually user error. <laughs> In my case, it's usually user error. All right, we're gonna emboss this. My embossing is over here on the other tray. We're gonna emboss the sentiment 
Happy Halloween. I'm going to use my embossing buddy and white craft ink on black. Stamp that right in the middle of that. A little white embossing powder. Like that. A little heat. And then we'll pull out our, our mini cut in a boss machine. Um, if you are, if you have random little boop boop things, you can just brush them off with your paintbrush. All right, this thing, the, the stupid cord is wrapped around something and it won't go any further. It's really, I need to take a moment to fix it and I haven't just, I just haven't done it. Oh, hot, hot, hot. All right, happy Halloween. And now our little baby. I don't use this thing enough. I need to use it more. It's so nice and light. Our little baby cut and emboss machine. We're gonna cut out. This is the stitched banner from the stylish shape dies. Um, so Terry, good question. She says, how is white craft ink on black different than just using white embossing powder? So like if you use Versamark ink instead of white craft, you can, but when you use white ink, it's just brighter and white. It just really is whiter. <laughs> Does that make sense? It's it's brighter and it pops off more. Um, if you use Versamark, you'll still get white, but I feel like it's kind of dull looking and not as bright and vivid as when you use um, the white craft ink. That's a very good question. Um, I've been using that white craft ink a ton lately. A ton. All right, we're going to put this right down here under her with some dimensionals. Now, let's bring this back over. I think it's dry. I've got a um, Starry Sky card base, and we're gonna put our stars. I should do an experiment. We should do a Versamark versus White Craft Ink. We'll do that. The next time I use White Craft Ink, we'll do that, because that's a great question. Um, it just, I just, it makes it just, I don't know, brighter. That's the best way I can describe it. All right. So I put that kind of at an angle like that. And then we're going to put this little thing here like that. We'll cover up our little Milky Way. Oops. Um, now we're going to take the, um, <laughs> I'm going to pretend like it's sitting right here. We're going to take um, this washi tape, the orange washi tape, pumpkin pie washi tape, and we're going to punch out some stars. Okay, I'm just going to put it on some cardstock. You could put it on white cardstock too. It doesn't have to be pumpkin pie, but pumpkin pie saves you if you're just, you know, if there's any little bit showing through. But I've done it on white too, and it's totally fine. All right. Punch out some stars from our little glittery pumpkins. And before we put those on, let's put this on the inside. Um, because this is a dark card base, we need to have a white interior so you can write your message. And there's that little spider. And we'll stamp that and find our adhesive. Put that on the inside like that. Now, let's see if our glue works. It does. So I'm going to just put some dots of glue. And then if my stars are turned over correctly, and if I can maybe find my take your pick tool, it was here yesterday. Here it is. The little putty in makes this so easy. We'll put one there, one there, one there, 
one there, one there. Nope, stay. And then I feel like maybe one way down here. I think we need another little one. Oh, that's white. We'll have to use this one. All right. Last but not least, she needs a bow. We've got Orchid Oasis ribbon. We need to use it. I've been using this ribbon a ton too. This and the Parakeet Party. Those have made great Halloween embellishments. Okay, little glue dot. So how many of you send Halloween cards? I used to think nobody sent Halloween cards. I'm gonna try to zoom in just a bit. But then you guys told me that you do send Halloween cards. Some of you do. Especially, I find grand grandmas like to send them to their grandkids, which makes total sense. Because that would be something you would expect from your grandma, right? Something fun like that. Okay, let me clean up a bit, and then we will make the next project. Let's see, what do I need? A lot of this I'm using again, so I don't want to put it away. This, I don't need this, this, this. So look, now I have three. Who am I gonna send them to? Maybe I should send one to my college daughter with a Starbucks gift card <laughs> or Dunkin' Donuts. That's what she lives on. Um, 14 grandkids. Oh my goodness, I lost that comment, where did it go? Oh, Cynthia, oh. 14 grandkids. That's a lot. And that's a lot of cards, but I bet they love it. All right. Next. I am bringing back something we did last year. Oh, that's not it. It's right here. This was my favorite treat box that I made last year. My favorite. Do you guys remember what was inside of it? Who was around? It was these these fudge dipped pretzels and they have a witch finger so come on we have to use it right the pumpkin we did last year maybe next year we'll do the ghost i got these at sam's club um i could not find these exact ones online um i linked you to some um from amazon that it looked like it was the brand i bought last year i've also seen something similar at target they sell the little long um witch fingers, but also I was thinking today, you could stack Hershey Kisses in this long skinny box. I think that would be like perfect for a bunch of Hershey Kisses. And they make Halloween Hershey Kisses, by the way. They have Dracula, they have monsters, they have a lot. All right, oh Dawn, she says, I sent a treat box to my daughter at college and her roommates, I really should. You know, I went and saw my daughter on Monday, we drove up there, my mom and I, and I brought her a plaid pumpkin and I brought her a chair. I bought her a chair for her living room because the chair that they got was so bad. She bought it from a friend that it was like sunk down almost to the floor on the, like the cushion part. So I brought her a chair. Uh, TJ Maxx had a bunch of stuff on Clarence furniture last weekend. So I was like, or home goods. We, our TJ Maxx and home goods is together. So I always just call it TJ Maxx. Small Rolos, Jean, that would be perfect in here as well. Very nice, that's a great suggestion. Okay, for the box, you need a piece of Parakeet Party that is four and a half by 10. And we're gonna score the short side at one, two, three, and four, and the long side at one and nine. Now, before I start cutting it up, do we have a um, Parakeet Party? ink pad. We should. We should. Am I just looking at it? I am just looking at it. <laughs> it's literally eight inches away. All right. I'm going to use the little stars um, from this set and we're just going to kind of sporadically stamp them. I'm turning my paper as I go so the stars aren't uniform. I was thinking later you could also stamp the witch feet like this all over. That would make it fun. 
All right, so Parakeet Party ink on Parakeet Party cardstock all the way around. All right, well, maybe right here. There we go. All right, now grab your bone folder and burnish those lines. Like that. Bone folder helps you get them nice and crisp. And then we're gonna just do a little bit of cutting. This is a pretty easy box. Um, on this side is a half inch tab. And we're gonna cut these two off of the end on that side. And when you do that, cut this one at an angle so that this tab has an angle. All right, and then cut this one. Cut it at an angle, and then snip, snip, snip. And I'm not gonna cut the corners off of these because they're pretty square and I don't really think that we need to do that. Usually we do, but we're not doing that today. Oh, great, I have something in my eye. Okay. You need to get out because I cannot go to the mirror right now. It's probably an eyelash. All right, tear and tape is really good for this. And we'll just peel that backing off, fold it in half, fold it over. And this is the back, okay? So keep that in mind where that seam was, that's the back. Now, on the bottom, whichever end's gonna be your bottom, fold the, the, nope, nope, fold the sides in first, then the back, and last you'll fold in the front flap. That will give you nice rounded edges on all the front sides. Well, if I can get this tape to do what it's supposed to do. There we go, nope. Well, what in the heck? It's because I have something in my eye, there we go. It's not, I don't know, I don't know what's happening. All right, fold it over and there we have it. Let's put our witch finger, it looks like my witch's fingernail has melted a bit, but it'll still taste good. Here in Texas, it's hot in October. Chocolate doesn't do well in October. All right, fold the top in the same, then grab your parakeet party ribbon and we're gonna tie it around the bottom and to keep that in place, I'm just gonna take a little bit of tape and put it on the bottom. And I'm not gonna peel off the backing. It's just gonna hold that little tape, whoops, that little ribbon there in place. Boy, comments have all disappeared. Weird. Okay, come on. There we go. I like how skinny this ribbon is and light. It doesn't really bulk things up much, which is great for cards. All right, mm, let's even that up. Man, I hate wasting this much ribbon right here. I didn't, I didn't estimate correctly. All right, so there's our box. Now let's make our tag. We're gonna use the little spider, um, spider web hat. Any of them will work. And we'll stamp that right there. And then we're gonna grab, oh yeah, no, I'm thinking of the other project. We gotta bring these back. We gotta bring these back. Um, or Light Orchid Oasis, okay? Um, I am using the bullet end of my Orchid Oasis marker. I'm not gonna worry about that hat band. We're gonna do something with that in a minute. So I'm gonna color all this in. This is um, a pretty dark color. So if you want to really see the details in your spider web, maybe go with a different purple, maybe Fresh Freesia. But I just like how deep this color is and it matched the last project. I like when my projects all match. So I stuck with Orchid Oasis. 
Okay, now I'm gonna take my dark Orchid Oasis and I'm gonna add maybe just like some shadow lines here on the back side of the hat. There would be a shadow line under the band and then down here as well. Okay, now I think I'm gonna use my brush end to kind of flick that color over like that. We want to leave part of it pretty light like that. Oh, that looks pretty good. Out of the three, I think that's the best one. <laughs> um, you can also take your color lifter, which, oh yeah, here it is, and go just a little bit like, like this, and maybe a little bit over here, because it would be lightest if the dark is on that side, the light will be here on this end, okay? But wait, there's more. We gotta add some Wink Stella because, you know, she's a sparkly witch. Wink of Stella is a great way to add sparkle without the mess. None of us likes a mess. My husband was, we have our hall closet right outside of my office right here. And I have some stuff stored in there. Plus I have like wrapping paper and that kind of stuff in there. And he was looking for a hat. Also, there's also coats and hats in there. And he was looking for a hat um, yesterday. <laughs> and he said, it's raining glitter in here. Something's glittery and it's getting all over me. I was like, oops, sorry. I don't know what it is, but, but the wink of Stella will keep you from, keep that from happening. All right, now the punch has this little hat band right here. We're going to punch that out of Parakeet Party Glimmer paper. And comments have disappeared again. Why won't they stay up? A little bit of Tombow. Um, Don, you know what? I think it's a little bit too short for a bow. Look, I don't think I could even tie a bow with that. Yeah, it's too short. Plus, if I kept every piece of ribbon, I would I would have a lot of just pieces of ribbon. But yeah, I know I probably should, right? Okay. Oh, one other thing we're gonna do. Where's my punch? Punch out a pumpkin pie star. Got all kinds of stuff coming out of the punch. But we just want the star. And we'll put that right there all right now we're going to make the little tag and what i have done ahead of time is cut out basic black scallop circle a basic black stitched circle this is from the style of shapes it's the second largest and i use that same die to cut out a piece of silver foil our silver foil package has three colors of silver foil in there one of them is very purpley and that's this one. And so I thought that will be good for this project um, because we're using purple. So we are going to take our spots and dots or dots and spots, I can never remember, and cut out some dots from the black circle. I almost did it backwards. Uh, Catherine says she, she tosses anything shorter than about four inches. Yeah, that's a pretty good rule. Yeah, I wish, I don't wanna throw any of it away. So what I should have done is shortened it before I tied it, because I knew it was gonna to be too long. You know, if you leave it on the bolt, you can pretty much adjust it so that you don't have any waste or very much anyway. All right, so here's our little Swiss cheese piece now. And I'm gonna put a few little dot, dot, dots. Go easy on your squeezing, because you don't want that glue to squish out. All right, that's going there. And then it's time for the dimensionals. Put this right there. That's so fun. Last but not least, whoops, I've got a stitched banner Ooh, my glue is not dry and that thing is wiggling. Stay. Um, we're gonna use our sentiment with pumpkin pie on a stitch banner from the Stylish Shape Dies. And again, this stamp is from this month's paper pumpkin. I'm gonna stamp it on the right side 
It does look like an Oreo, doesn't it? It does. All right, and then we're gonna put dimensionals. Like that, kind of hanging off. And then some dimensionals here. And we'll put that kind of like that. And let's bring it over. There we go. Boop, boop. Next week it's supposed to be cold here. And when I say cold, don't laugh because I know you guys up north, our cold is like your summer, but high of like 73. That is like amazing after six straight months of 100 degrees weather, degree weather. So we're very excited. And I could set these out for my mail lady and know that they will not melt when it's set high of 73. All right, there you guys go. If you want to see last year's pretzel project, there's a search um, box on my blog and you can search. I think if you just search the word pretzel, it'll bring it up. It was last October. You could also use the archive. There's a drop down where you can do archive, go back to October 2021. Okay, so that is that. We've got one more. I think it's cute. It's my favorite. We've got one more. Where did I put the other cards? Where did I put them? We've got one more, but my cards are missing. Where did I put them? Am I just looking at them? What? Are they under here? Oh, yeah, here they are. Okay, they're under my Simply Scored. Okay, one more. Now... I was really trying to come up with a witch hat shaved box. And I came up with one. I actually found directions for one that was awesome. But you guys, it was very complicated, very hard. It took me three tries to get it right. So I thought, you know what? We need just simple, right? We need simple. So then I remembered I had these up in my cabinet. Um, I had used them for craft sale years ago. These little witch broom ha uh, pens. They're from Amazon and they're so cute. So I pulled out our pretzel bags, the ones we did um, a couple of weeks ago with the nuggets. And this fits perfectly in there. So that's what we're going to do. I've linked you to both the bags and the pens on today's blog post. Um, I always, I get lots of questions. Um, well, not lots of questions, but from time to time, people ask me, do you have any treats that don't include sugar? You know, which I get. That's a thing. People don't want sugar. You know what? I lost the bag. Here it is. Um, so I like to try to come up with non-sugar treats. So that's what this is. This is for, you know, you know, I had in, um, when I taught school, I had diabetic children and Halloween was kind of, you know, scary for them. Um, so this would be great if that was an issue, or you might have health conscious friends, or maybe you just don't want to load up kids with a bunch of sugar. This is fun. A little witch broom pen, and they're very inexpensive. All right. So I cut off the top of that bag because it's a little bit too big. Um, but otherwise it works. You've got this little piece of black that is five by three and a fourth, and we're going to score it at two and a half. Really easy really really easy you gotta put that over there and you're just gonna take it and staple it to the bag okay now I if some of you do craft fairs also this is a great craft fair project um, I think I sold them for like three dollars and they sold out every time all right a little bit of our black and white designs DSP. We're going to use the same um, witch hat that I did last time. I like the spider witch hat. And this time we are going to use a lighter color. We're going to use that parakeet party. Um, the the um, brooms come in three colors. I believe, is this light? Let me make sure. Yeah, I believe it was orange and purple, the other one. So you could change up your colors of your packaging. Um, you know, like use markers that are different colors or whatever um, to match the pins. 
but I like using Parakeet Party, so that's what we're doing. I'm gonna color this one a little bit differently. We're gonna just use the dark on the spider web to kind of make that spider web stand out. Squeaky, squeaky. Yeah, the broom comes with a pen, Elizabeth. Yep, it's attached. Um, does Stampin' Up! bring back the nugget bags? No, Terry, the, they did not. But these are from Amazon. They're pretzel bags. I have a link on today's blog post for both the bags and the pens. So if you guys hop over there, it'll take you right to them. There's like 300 of them for like $6. And lots of things fit in there. All right, so I outlined the... Um, Spiderweb in dark. And then I'm just going to color it in again with light. Parakeet party. Uh, Jean, yes, I know. You guys up north, you guys feel right now how I feel in like April. So up north, you, you dread the ice, the snow, the dark, long winter, right? Well, down here, we dread... The hot as you know what summer that lasts five or six months. So about April, I start getting sad because it gets so hot that it's too hot to do anything. It's too hot to go anywhere. You sweat constantly. So it's it's the opposite here. <laughs> uh, you know, I I guess no matter where you live, you're gonna have some kind of, you know, yucky weather. Unless you live in where is it like San Diego? San Diego has like perfect year round weather. Of course, you have earthquakes there. So, you know, there's nowhere that's perfect. All right, so now this time I'm gonna use two different colors of our glitter washi tape. Punch that out and add that to our hat. And we'll set that aside to dry. Now we're gonna do some more embossing. Um, we are gonna do white sentiment on black. This is the embossing buddy. You wanna use the embossing buddy. Um, is this the one we're using? Yes, you wanna use the embossing buddy to release any static that may be on your cardstock. It will help keep the, the little granules of embossing Oh, you know what? Let's do an experiment since we have it. Let's do it right now. Hold on. I have Versamark right here. Okay, hold on. Let me get my chamois. We're going to do an experiment. We're going to compare what white... I should have stamped it lower. White, using white ink instead of Versamark. All right. Hold on. Let me get all the white out. All right. And then, let's see. I have. Oh, look. I have this big piece right here. All right, so now we'll do it in Versamark. Oh, I better use my embossing buddy. Okay. Right there. So now, white ink, clear ink. Okay, there's that. And that, where's my... Get all those granules that did not follow directions off. So already, I think you guys could probably see, can you tell how it's just kind of not as bright? I don't know, when I'm looking on the, when I'm looking at my iPad, they look pretty similar. <laughs> but in person, the white ink is brighter than the Versamark. We'll see what it looks like when it dries. All right, now we're gonna use that clear Versamark on a stitched rectangle. And I'm gonna just go all the way, oop, I didn't use the, the embossing buddy. And this time we're using black, we're using black embossing powder. And you can't see it, but I'm just gonna go around the edges. 
okay? Can you tell a difference, Mary? You see the difference between the white and the verse mark? In person, I can definitely tell. All right. Now, I was thinking about this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know why I didn't just stamp these in black ink. Now, the black embossing powder is gonna be shiny, but if we're trying to make a quick and easy project, maybe we just stamp it in black ink, you know? I was thinking about that earlier today. I was like, why didn't I just stamp those stars in black ink? All right, let's do best witches in white first. And then we'll do the Versamark. I kind of smushed the word here. It's kind of smushed. Terry, you see a difference? It's definitely not as juicy. I don't know. I'm kind of saying maybe there isn't a huge difference. There really isn't. This is white craft and this is Versamark. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think the white is a little bit brighter, but maybe, you know, not enough to say it makes a huge, huge difference. All right, these are those reverse tweezers that make it, make it uh, really easy so you don't burn off your fingertips um, with the heat tool. Because we gotta go all the way around this one to get these black embossed stars shiny. Well, you know, if I had stamped, if I had done a better job stamping, my craft ink pad is juicy. Sometimes I have to stamp it two or three times to get an image that's not, you know, kind of smushed out like that. But I didn't do that. I don't know. You know, honestly, you wouldn't be able to tell it. I mean, you know, like if I just handed it one to you, you wouldn't know, probably. You would say, wow, look at that. White on black, it looks great. <laughs> I just always go for the white. I just, I don't know. I think it just adds another little layer of white to our, our words. All right, this time I am using um, the, this is a label from, from, um, what am I trying to say? The, um, hello, the pillow box that we used last week. The pretty pillow box dies. Is that going to be straight? It doesn't look like it's going to be straight. Yeah, maybe it is. Okay, there's that. And I need to just clean up a little bit. So hold, please. Just hold, please. All right, we've got all kinds of things going on here. All right, finally, we're at the end. What time is it? All right, 3.05, not bad. I'm going to take my best witches. And a few dimensionals. Put that like that. Get our cute little parakeet party. Um, witches hat. And put that kind of like that. Mm, maybe I want it like that. No, maybe I want it like that. What are you growling at? What? Did y'all hear that? <laughs> he just woke up from his nap and started growling. All right, and there you have it. So a non-sugary, easy peasy, minus the embossing, <laughs> easy peasy project. All right, let's look at what we have. And then I've got some extra things to show you. Let me just clean up this mess, hold on. Now, in case you missed it in the beginning, I just want you guys to know, boy, look at the mess I have made today. Um, the Hat Builder Punch is no longer available. Wah, wah. I know, I'm so mad because I was prepared for this. I thought it's on low inventory, but I called Stampin' Up! today and they said, Unfortunately, it has sold out, which, hello, I guess it was popular. 
But again, you could do fussy cutting. You could substitute the stars. We've got lots of star dies that you could use. The hat brim, you could stamp it and cut it out in a different color. I mean, there are ways to get around it. Where are my other um, two? I have over here. Okay, so here's what we made, right? In review, um, if you want these projects free, I will send them to you next week. Um, they usually ship on Wednesday. And you'll have everything you need except for, you'll need, obviously, the stamp set and the, and the punch um, or scissors. <laughs> um, you'll need, um, what was the other thing? Oh, the spots and dots. That's one I don't cut. I'll cut everything else for you. Okay? Um, all orders need to be in by Monday at midnight, $35 minimum. If your order is... Um, if your order is over $150, don't use a host code because then you'll get Stamper Rewards and I will still send you um, the make and takes for free. I'm seeing a question. Sorry, I'm distracted. Denise, do you sell adhesive kits? You know, Denise, I have in the past and I don't, I just haven't done it lately. I have that on my to-do list and it just keeps getting bumped to the bottom. If you need adhesive, let me know. But I, I have some bags picked out, everything. I just, I haven't found the time to get to it. I know, I know. I have a lot of things I want to do. Let me show you guys a couple of extra things. This is made by my friend Kay. I believe this was a swap that I got. And she just punched the hat out. No stamping. I liked how she kept it simple. Um, here is another card. Uh-oh, the bow. You know what? I kind of think I want to trim that to just a tie like that. There we go. Look at that. Stamped directly onto the glimmer paper. There's our Alphabest stamp set again. All right. And there's that paper. What do you call that? Um, glimmer, shimmer, something. That paper. Six by six. I haven't used that paper. All right. Now, here's another swap card. This one came from Leslie. Magic is in the air. See, she stamped those feet on the background. Very cute. I copied her um, hat right there. This one is from Jan M. Cute. She stamped that hat on colored cardstock in black. I like that. And look, inside too. Very cute. And then here's one more. Look, she's got like a, a broomstick. <laughs> the moon was created with our stitch dies. You cut out a circle, then you lay it again over the circle, and it'll create that moon shape. Okay, you guys, I'll have these, um, some of these on my blog on Monday for you to see. But otherwise, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it today. Next week, what do I have for next week? Next week is, oh, next week is um, Rustic Harvest. Rustic Harvest. And then the week after that, we're going to do Warm Welcome. That's an out-of-publication bundle that's online coming in from Spring Catalog. And then after that, we will do the florets. What was it called? The one I showed you at the beginning. The florets? I can't think of what it is. I need a nap. You guys, have a wonderful weekend. I will see you next week. Please let me know if you have questions. Um, don't forget to get your orders in by Monday at midnight. Have a great weekend, guys. Thanks. Bye.